Despite extensive training, first responders are never fully prepared for the trauma they encounter. They often respond to the worst days of people's lives, accidents, deaths, fires, and other tragic events. Whitney Hager has been a paramedic for seven years. Every time she rushes to an emergency with sirens blaring, she's risking her own mental health. I did have somebody that I responded to that had committed suicide, and that one is something that's kind of stuck with me. Um, that particular person um, was around a similar age that I was at the time, and that kind of stuck with me and affected me. I know for some of my coworkers, um, calls involving pediatrics uh, can be especially difficult. Research shows that first responders experience feelings of depression, job burnout, troubled relationships, and use substances. They are significantly more likely to die by suicide than the general public but they often feel hesitant about seeking help because they worry it might make them seem less capable at their jobs. I dealt with it on my own. Um, I didn't really reach out to anybody. It was just something that I kind of um, internalized, thought about for a little bit, um, and then after time was able to move on from. Another challenge is the scarcity of mental health resources tailored to emergency response workers. They often end up seeing general practitioners who might not fully understand what they go through on the job. A new program aims to tackle these challenges by offering psychological crisis intervention training to paramedics, EMTs, and dispatchers. Jacqueline O'Hagan says the goal is for the participants to learn how to support each other. We gave them a, a very solid base of how to talk to individuals um, uh, on like personal bases as well as debriefs as well as a group debrief. So really kind of hitting at all different aspects of what a peer supporter might respond to. O'Hagan says it's the first of its kind in the country because it combines a mental health professional with firsthand experience in emergency response. She hopes the training will help make discussions about trauma and triggers easier for her colleagues. Heidi DeMarco, KPBS News.